Hey guys, welcome to Torrential Riff, episode 205. Today's band focus is Tamplin. An axe to grind. Gold edition. So, okay guys, uh, if you've been watching my channel, uh, you're probably saying, Hey, how are you playing this? You said you weren't going to play play these. So, uh, Gerda Music uh, reached out to me and uh, retracted the copyright strike on my channel and also authorized me to play any of the uh, Frontline uh, records. Uh, I can play any, as many clips as I'd like. I'm not going to get any copyright strikes. So I uh, just want to give you guys a heads up on this. And uh, again, keep supporting our local, uh, local, our small uh, metal uh, genre uh, group here. And uh, let's keep this music coming. So, all right, I just wanted to let you guys know about that news, so, which is great news. And um, uh, again, I'm happy to make a partnership and a friendship with Girder. So, <clears throat> and, you know, and uh, Bill at Rocks and uh, Matt Hunt at uh, Retroactive. So, all right, let's get to it. Uh, I, I had this on cassette back in the day. I never did get it on CD. So I really haven't listened to this in a long while. Um, this is much better than I remember, to be honest. Uh, just really good stuff. Um, this is, uh, going all the way. All right, so uh, of course we've got the uh, updated version of the front cover. Uh, Scott Waters uh, did this one. The, uh, artwork in the uh, display so I remember the uh, font was a little bit different so you made the font all the same improve the graphics make it look better and for those who do not care for the gold border you still get the full screen edition if that's what you prefer you got legends of rock on the side which is nice take a look at the back the Ken sample in there. So you got all the tracks here. And we have some bonus tracks. I had uh, mentioned this to Gerda Music about, you know, can we put on, uh, you know, When the Rock Cries Out and L Lucy Little Liar and uh, take them back from the uh, uh, Power Team compilation. So uh, Gerda was uh, able to fit these on. There were so many tracks on here, I wasn't sure if we'd be able to, but... That was awesome that we get these remastered, especially these two from the uh, compilation. I was happy to see those on here. Um, okay, oh, we didn't even finish back here. So you get a synopsis here. Uh, again, released on Gerda Music. Go to gerdamusic.com. So you get the track numbers and the track times, which I really like. So I know how long tracks are. It's just a little thing from, that I like. And guys, keep watching to the end. I'm gonna make my uh, uh, new new pick, uh, the riff, the best riff uh, on the record. So it's gonna be something new I'm gonna do. Uh, so keep watching to the end to get my pick, my pick for the best riff. Uh, so let's take a look at the inside. Oh, actually, let's take a look at the tray. So you got some of the credits here. You got Ken Tamplin, produced by Lenny Cordola. Fanta sounds fantastic. The remaster by Rob Caldwell uh, sounds great. And being on the gold disc, it sounds great. And being on gold disc, uh, you don't have to worry about disc corrosion. So that's some of the benefits of the gold discs. I mean, look at this all-star lineup. Ken Tamplin. <clears throat> we know, we all know Ken. Scott Van Zen. Uh, I don't know if he's been, ever been in a band. I, I guess he was just... Uh, a friend of Ken's and a great guitarist. Did a lot of TV work there, you see. Lanny Cadola, of course, from House of Lords, and Magdalene, and, and Jafria. Lanny's not on it as much as uh, its majority of Scott Van Zen. You got Ken Mary, awesome drummer, House of Lords, Impelitary, uh, and also Fifth Angel. He's been in many, many bands. Chuck Wright, House of Lords, Quiet Riot. Joey Tafala? 
Uh, I don't. I never really followed uh, Jag Panzer, so I, I don't really know. But I know the name of the band. I know they're a big band. Play another track here. Uh, you got Mock St. John also on guitars. So 2020 credits. Mr. Greg Hayes, executive producer, remastered by Rob Caldwell, Bombwork Sound. Liner notes, Jonathan Doc Swank, and layout and design, Scott Waters at No Life to Metal. Get the little uh, rays back here, you can kind of see them a little bit. See the rays coming out? So you got a little nice background on that. Makes it pop a little bit. Okay, so let's take a, like a deep dive in. So you get the nice picture of all the different plays here. I think this is a synopsis by Ken, if I'm not sure. If I'm not, I didn't actually read it yet. Oh, John, oh this is from uh, Jonathan Swank. So he gives a rundown and synopsis. And I like this because at the at the bottom of each song shows you all the different musicians that played on that song, which I really like to know. Instrumental by Lanny. Came out what, 1990? Originally, if I'm not mistaken, it's 1990s. It's easy to read lyrics in the background here. The more rays in the background there. That's easy to read. Very nice, very nice. Of course, you got the full screen there. That was good. So, uh, I when I got this, I just sat, plugged this, plugged my headphones in, and I just sat and listened to it from uh, beginning to start. I was like, wow, this is really, really good. I forgot how great it was. Plus, again, with the bonus tracks, it was definitely a must-buy. You get a lot of amazing guitar licks on here. Right, guys, I mean, that's pretty much it from the, the review side of it. And again, the sound sounds amazing. Uh, nice high, clean clean highs, and uh, you got some nice low-end bass punch. Um, again, I don't have the original uh, to compare it to, but uh, I just know Rob, Rob Caldwell does amazing remasters. I've never not liked the remaster he's done. And just the background vocals from Ken, it's just Amazing. Crank it a little bit here. Sounds so good. Really nice packaging. All right, guys, it's gonna be about it for this video. Okay, so what I'm gonna call it my monster riff pick of the CD is gonna be number thirteen. Yes, take them back. Love the song. 
And the cool thing also with this uh, with this track, you get to hear the demo for this track, which was never released on an official uh, Shout Out Tamplin record. Great song. All right, guys, that's my monster riff pick. Uh, it's taken back. What's yours? What's your favorite tr uh, track on here? There's so many to choose from. Really great songs on here. Of course, you got "Living for My Lord," which was uh, also a video uh, on Metal Hot Metal 4 VHS uh, release. So, all right, guys, that's it for this one. Rock on. See you on the next one.